Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. On May 11, 1934, a massive dust storm two miles high traveled 2,000 miles to the East Coast. The dust blotted out the Statue of Liberty and the U.S. Capitol. As of 1999, NASA showed 1934 as being by far the hottest year in U.S. history. But a few years later, NASA changed the data to erase the heat of the 1930s. NASA now shows a strong warming trend from the 1930s through the end of the 20th century. But in 1999, NASA showed a strong cooling trend through the end of the 20th century. The 1999 version of the graph which showed cooling was accurate, but their current version is fake. Instead of NASA's fake temperature graphs, let's take a look at what newspapers were saying in 1934. Los Angeles Times, December 30th, 1934. Whole world in freak weather year. Cold heat, drought, and floods said new marks. Unprecedented extremes recorded in every corner of the earth. Even climate has changed in spots. The chief meteorologist at the U.S. Weather Bureau said a worldwide drought was seen as being likely. And there was a worldwide drought. It was almost a universal disaster for farmers around the world. England was having their worst drought in a century, and half a million people were starving in China due to the drought. The New York Times reported that temperatures in China were between 115 and 120 degrees Fahrenheit for several weeks. During the summer of 1934, almost the entire United States was in drought. And it was the same situation during May 1934. Almost the entire country was in drought. The average daily maximum temperature in the United States during May of 1934 was by far the hottest on record. The percent of days above 80 degrees Fahrenheit during May of 1934 was also by far the highest on record. The percent of days above 90 degrees Fahrenheit during May of 1934 was about four times higher than recent years. Now, with my new climate tool, let's take a look at the details of May 1934. This is realclimatetools.com, and I'm going to click on U.S. Temperatures. Now, let's go to Iowa, and we're going to select just the month of May. You can immediately see the very hot spike during May of 1934. Now, I'm going to zoom in by right-clicking the mouse and dragging this blue rectangle to the area I want to zoom into. But I really just want to zoom in on 1934, so I'm going to do the same thing again. Now I'm going to zoom out vertically by holding down the V key on the keyboard and turning the scroll wheel on the mouse downwards. And once again, I'm going to zoom in by right-clicking and dragging. Now I'm going to zoom in horizontally by holding down the H key on the keyboard and turning the scroll wheel on the mouse upwards. What we're looking at now is the entire month of May 1934 at Albia, Iowa. The average daily maximum temperature during that month at Albia was 83.54 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see there were three heat waves during May of 1934. There's one from May 6th to May 9th, another one from May 17th to May 21st, and another one from May 29th through the end of the month. Now let's look at the other stations in Iowa to see if we find the same pattern. Let's go to Algona. It was 106 degrees at Algona on May 30th and 105 degrees on May 31st. Next comes Belle Plaine. Once again we see the same pattern. Charles City there is no data. Clorinda we see the same pattern. Clinton we see the same pattern. Esterville we see the same pattern. Fairfield, Fayette, Forest City, Fort Dodge, Indianola, Iowa Falls, Lamars, Logan, Mount Air, Mount Pleasant, New Hampton, Rock Rapids, Rockwell City, Storm Lake, Toledo, Washington. Washington is the last United States Historical Climatology Network station in Iowa, and on May 31st, 1934, it was 103 degrees there. 
Now I'm going to zoom out and look at all of the May daily maximum temperatures in the NOAA database for Washington, Iowa. I could do this by pressing the reset zoom button, but in this case I'm going to do it by pressing the R key. There are 3,992 daily maximum May temperatures in the NOAA database for Washington, Iowa. And we can see that 1934 was the only May when they got above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The most recent hot temperature was 97 degrees in 2018. NOAA has tried to erase the heat of 1934, but as we've just seen, it was very real. It showed up at every single station in Iowa. I could do the same analysis for the rest of the United States, but I'm going to leave that up to you now that I've provided the tools to do it. The weather was horrible in 1934, even though carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere were very low. As the Los Angeles Times reported, there were unprecedented extremes recorded in every corner of the Earth. So academics who claim that lower levels of carbon dioxide would mean less extreme weather simply aren't telling the truth. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this scam for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.